So today I'm going to talk about um, the Kate Daniels series by Ilona Andrews. I'm not quite sure how I want to do this because there are um, currently six, six books out. Maybe the, the seventh book is out now, um, but I haven't read it yet. I actually read the first two books, Magic Bites and Magic Burns, last year. But earlier this year, I read um, the next three Magic Strikes, Magic Bleeds, and Magic Slays. Are you noticing a pattern? Good. <laughs> I really love Kate Daniels. She is one of the few heroines in urban fantasy I feel, um, while sticking to a lot of the tropes, she also circumvents them or um, overcomes them a lot. So you actually have this um, heroine who is strong and sassy and of course her mouth gets her into trouble but she's also just as ready to get herself out of trouble. Um, she does depend on her friends but not overly so which is something I'm noticing is a really nice um, trait of Ilona Andrews heroines. I really have a pet peeve for heroines who are so badass that they can't like ask for help um, because that's just silly. So I'm not actually going to talk about every book. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the series and um, what you can expect. Uh, basically, uh, the story is set in Georgia, mostly in Atlanta and Savannah, after some sort of magic apocalypse has happened. Uh, basically, the world has waves of either magic or tech and um, during magic waves technology doesn't work like your cars won't start and things like that um, and magic won't be as powerful but during tech waves it's obviously the opposite magic doesn't work as well I thought that was a really neat touch in the book and it the authors uh, use it to you know I guess add a little spice to the action and the problems that uh, are, you know, occurring in the book. Like your typical urban fantasy, there are werewolves and uh, vampires and other things that go bump in the night, um, but they're different in this. I guess the werewolves and, you know, werebeasts, I suppose, are not really much different um, than your typical uh, were beasts, but the vampires are a little bit different, and I really like this sort of fresh take she had on um, vampires in this book. Uh, the adventures are pretty intense and epic, and there is an overarching story um, following Kate Daniels and her past and her history, and you know also her future as it progresses. But each story does have its own. Um, problem and plot that is to be solved. So when you finish reading one book, um, you do feel uh, complete, like not like you have to go on to the next book, but um, that you would like to if you could, which I've mentioned before. I really hate that feeling you have when you finish a, ser um, a book in a series where you have to read the next book because the ending was sort of overly cliffhanger-ish. That's a word now. So yeah, um, Kate Daniels. It's an awesome series. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, there are six books out, uh, seven books out now, and um, she's still writing. She puts one out about every year. Um, actually, she puts one out every year. Um, the first one came out in 2007, and the most recent 2014 one came out, I think, a couple months ago or something like that. So. If you've read it, please talk to me about it. I love this series, and if you haven't read it, uh, I, I really recommend it. I think um, any urban fantasy fan would like it, any fantasy fans would like it. Um, yeah, it's great. Please check it out.